Hey guys, my name is Sam and today I want to make a quick video on my New Balance training setup. So in my review of the Minimus 20 version 5, shameless plug, <laughs> I mentioned that I picked these up from the New Balance flagship store on Oxford Street. I also picked up the Accelerate tights and wind blocker jacket from their website. Let's start with the tights. New Balance Accelerate tights feel ultra light and breathable with the New Balance dry technology. They felt a lot more stretchy than my previous running tights by Puma. At first I was a little worried that they were too thin, as in see-through, but that's not the case with these. It has a nice snug fit with internal pockets to store your keys during your night run. I like the subtle leg opening zippers as well as the not so subtle blue strip that runs down the side. However, I must mention that these are not the most durable feeling tights out there, especially for those who do outdoor training. Maybe try something like the dynamic tights which is blended with nylon. Now onto the jacket. I prefer soft shell jackets because they tend to be more flexible, breathable and quieter than the typical running hard shell. The wind blocker is also wind and water resistant with the DWR coating. It features two side pockets and a diagonal left breast pocket. The other features include fleece lining for added insulation, back vents and side panels for ventilation and flexibility, as well as a storm cuff with thumb holes to ensure no wind enters the forearm. I love the overall slim athletic fit. It hugs the body well without feeling too tight or restrictive. The hints of silver freedom, especially in the forearm, allows you to be visible during night training. Yes, it may not be the most aesthetically pleasing feature, but I kinda like it. On the other hand, you may want to check out some of the Gore-Tex Active shells, in case you need something that's fully wind and waterproof. Anyway, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give them a thumbs up and comment below. I'd love to know what you think of the gear and how I can improve my videos. All of the links are in the description. Apart from that, have a good day.